You're watching Signing Day Live on Scout. We are here all day with big breaking storylines, and we are talking recruiting school by school. But we have some big breaking news right now. Soso Jamabo, number one running back in the nation, commits to UCLA. This is big for the Bruins. Now they've got four players that are number one at their position in this class. John, what are the Bruins getting in Soso? My favorite running back this year. And a great name also. Hey, I'm Amy Campbell with Scout, and as we count down to signing day, I am joined by the number one offensive tackle in the country, five-star Martez Ivy. Now, you have had quite a high school career. It's amazing how things can change. Guys, this is why we love signing day, because it's always a lot of movement. And lucky for us, we are joined now by a guy who knows the UGA program and the SEC inside and out. Scout National Recruiting Analyst Chad Simmons joins us now. Hey, Chad, as the faxes are rolling in, plenty of big news in the conference. Can you even say what the biggest news is so far in the SEC? Wow, I mean... It's the start of SEC play for the Gators. A lot of things are on the line for Florida as they look to go 2-0 on the season. Florida and their offense are fresh off scoring 65 points last week, but that was against Eastern Michigan. So how would they fare against an SEC defense? Well, it was a pretty slow first half, so let's go right to the second. Gators down 10-6. Jeff Driscoll connects with Tevin Westbrook for the 10-yard touchdown. Florida leads 13-10, but Kentucky would answer. Gators now down 17-13. Driscoll hits Demarcus Robinson for the nine-yard touchdown. What a game that guy had. But again, the Wildcats would answer. The ball game's tied at 20. Austin Harden in for the game-winning 52-yard field goal. Never has a chance. The game would go to overtime. Ryan, this is a very exciting year for Trojans fans because for the first time since 2011, they can sign a full recruiting class as the NCAA sanctions are lifted. How much of a boost has that given them on the recruiting trail this year? Yeah, certainly. For Butch Jones. Well, and he certainly got the players to get those wins, so definitely important for them to be translating that to the field. As you mentioned, we talked about Khalil McKenzie and what a special player he is and a huge pickup for the Tennessee Volunteers. Here is Scouts number one in this Scout Spotlight. And Jamie, a few surprises that are standing out to us as we take a look across these classes. Let's start with TCU. Great season, statement in their bowl game, recruiting very well. Just a remarkable story for a really smart kid able to reclassify and then obviously take advantage of his athletic skill in the process. And the rest of the SEC should be shuddering right now with what Auburn <laughs> has been able to do and could still do the rest of today with this class. We're going to move on now to Texas A&M. No shortage of drama there as well for Kevin Sumlin, but he does keep his quarterback, Kyler Murray, maybe the best player in the country. What do you guys like about what Kevin Sumlin's done? Uh, well, Kyler Murray's fantastic. We are going to get back to Florida State in just a second because we have some big time breaking news. Byron Cowart has announced his decision and he'll be following Will Muschamp to Auburn. Interesting. What do you Interesting. think about that one, Jamie? Well, you know, I had him pegged for Florida for a long time simply because I think he always dreamt of playing at the University of Florida, playing in the swamp. This kid could play so many places. The thing is, he's so athletic. He moves so well. You watch him run, and you're thinking, my goodness, how is that kid that big and able to run that fast and physical? And I mean, I know he played for that defense. I think they gave up like two points all season. Yeah, it was ridiculous. The title game. But in that defense, he'll be a, a defensive end for Will Muschamp. He's the ideal guy. The, the first time I saw crazy. him, I thought that maybe he was someone's parent because he does not look <laughs> like I remember he is seeing him school. as a freshman at a seven on at USF at their sling and shoot going, who the heck is this 25 year old running around with these high school exactly. kids? Exactly. I see some. Yes, John. And what about Will Muschamp here? This guy is a Florida fan his whole life. Everybody pegs him to Florida. Like you said, that was just the, the easy, safe bet. And here comes Will Muschamp after obviously the disappointing season, goes to Auburn and just completely changes the game hey, for one of the most you, dynamic they, players they in the country. Done, they're not done yet. Yeah. Yeah, and we're gonna, and, and Muschamp, Muschamp and Cowart, so similar in personality. Super intense, super competitive. They want to win at every single thing they do. A perfect match. Really interesting. So we are going to get to know Byron Cowart a little bit more right now in this Scout Spotlight video. Here he is, the new Auburn Tiger commit.